still pretty similar to Liv. If I had the secret of being a zombie, I'd be pretty hesitant to tell anyone. She just finds it easier for it to be her cross to bear and her little secret, and um, unfortunately, a giant gap between her and the people that matter to her starts to grow. Do you have any idea how many women would kill to be with a man like this? I play uh, Major Lily White, who is Liv's ex fiance I'm gonna be real with you for a second. When I spoke with Rob Thomas, before we got started on the show, I was like, how married to the name Major Lily White are you? Fun piece of trivia, the name comes from Rob Thomas and Diane Ruggiero Wright. Diane, when she was in high school, had a boy that she fancied, whose first name was Major. If you know who you are, hot Diane had a crush on you. So you blew it, Major. Now, Lily White is the last name of uh, one of Rob Thomas's favorite collegiate football players. So I am the love child of Diane's high school crush and Rob's collegiate man crush. Boom, spike the ball. I have so many questions. First, why the hot sauce? Is that a zombie thing? The character breakdown that I was given was that he was fascinated by mysteries. Resting heart rate. <laughs> 10 beats per minute. How have you been so normal to me? It was sort of like, you've just stumbled across one of the greatest medical finds in, in, in history. You, this is a dead person. Lieutenant's breathing down my neck and now I'm back to square one. Like I said, I saw something. He's just unorthodox. He's very, he's not by the book. I have no idea that she's a zombie. I just think that she has these psychic abilities and I, I run with it. I'm like, anything to help me get that first collar, I'll go with it. When he sees this photo, his reaction will let us know how psychic you really are. I don't understand why she has white hair and why she has, why, why she's all pale and dresses the way she dressed. She probably doesn't understand why I dress the way I dress either. Like, you know, like I'm like coming out of a 70s movie or something. I don't know what you are, emo, goth. But we eventually accept each other's differences and start bringing these murder victims, killers to justice, and that's what brings us together.